can't deal with those spirits that are inside of us that we want to put to rest, we might just close them off completely and then call and turn this into what they call the alien ego. So it allows anybody to go ahead and take that thing they don't like and project it onto somebody else. You'll be walking down the street, some people show up, and they go off like that. You're going to get this cascading, this, you know, litany of, they, what it is that's wrong with you, and you don't even know this person, but they're going to project it onto you. And then you can take that, that energy that they don't want to deal with, and you can get it into a group. And that group can then go on and do horrible, horrible things. What these kinds of stories do is they stick a needle into that venomous bladder and try to get some of this stuff out because you're part of this. You cannot be removed. I always love I've been martial arts for a number of years. And one of the concepts in internal training systems is that there is nothing supernatural. We're not outside of nature. No one can be. So if you isolate yourself and blow away, you will get sick. And that's how I, I got ill and I had to heal. And it's because I removed myself from my humanity and my nature. And so a lot of it is because I alienated parts of myself. And you will start getting things that will break apart and go different places in your body when that happens. It's, it, I mean, I, I believe that. You can do what you want to with it. <laughs> but so this, the stories, this is why mysticism is like, how do we reunify? How do we bring things back together? How do we create a whole? How do we make ourselves whole? And this idea of the split right here in Judeo-Christian or Christian belief is the idea of... Um, you know, where there's, where there's, I'm trying to remember the passage now, um, go forth.